بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد from the prophetic advice of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is to involve ourselves in those things which benefit us and leave those things which are not from our affairs meaning which we have no right to involve ourselves in and also to avoid doubtful issues da ma yuribak ila ma la yuribak and many ahadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam illustrate for us what the believer should be doing that the believer should involve his or herself with gaining beneficial knowledge with being brothers in Islam helping and supporting one another giving charity doing the performing our wajibat things like the prayer fasting uh making the pilgrimage if we're able to do so paying the zakat if it becomes an obligation upon us etc all of those things is if we were to busy ourselves with those things which are an obligation upon us that alone would keep us busy enough to where we wouldn't need to speak about others and attack others and the attack the honor and rights of others and belittle others and we've spoken on countless occasions about backbiting and slander and mention the adilla from kitab illa wa sunnatu rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam i just wanted to mention or to read one athar of the salaf is a athar of ibn uh, ibn mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu who said qal man akthar an-nas khataya yawm al-qiyamah aktharuhum khawdan fi al-batil rawahu uh az-zuhd li ahmad in this narration of ibn mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said from the people who have the most mistakes and most sins on the day of judgment will be of those will be those individuals who immerse themselves the most in falsehood so that's a very beautiful statement of ibn uh, ibn mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu so again he said from those from the people who are the who have the most mistakes on the day of judgment those are the people who have the most sins is those who involve themselves the most in falsehood they immerse themselves in falsehood and this athar of the salaf radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in shows us the importance of involving ourselves in manners and matters that will benefit us not in those things not involving ourselves in falsehood involving ourselves with those things that have no benefit islamically and no benefit in our faith in strengthening our hearts but rather the the opposite falsehood is things like involving ourselves in things that we have no business involving ourselves in for example if we see fitna between the muslims or fitna between the ulama the ulama of ahl sunna to involve ourselves in the, in that fitna is of no benefit and perhaps we can fall into sin if we ha- don't have knowledge or the tools to even to begin to involve ourselves and we begin to spread things like sheikh so and so is this because so and so said this or sheikh or this person is this because so and so said this and we don't have the tools to distinguish between truth and falsehood then this is a way that we can fall into batil we can fall into falsehood because we don't have the ilm we don't have the fiqh we don't have the understanding and there is no benefit in us belittling others and regarding this also 
it shows us and illustrates for us the importance of knowledge. Because knowledge, beneficial knowledge, al nafi as the ulama describe it, is as the Salaf used to say, talab al ilm, talab al jannah, that the seeker of knowledge is the seeker of jannah. So when a person's niyyah, their intention is sahih, their intention is sound, that they're, they're seeking Islamic knowledge in order to come closer to Allah, to follow the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, then this person is on the haq, then they're on truth, they're on khair. But if they do it in order to debate and belittle the people, to attack the honor of others, to show that they know more than others, or to belittle and attack the warath al-anbiya, the ulama, as the Prophet wasallam said, al-ulama warath al-anbiya, that the scholars, they're the inheritors of the prophets. So if someone is seeking knowledge in order to attack and belittle those people, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves, that are the most fearful of Allah, as Allah mentions in the Quran, Akhsha al ibadi al ulama, that the most God fearing people is the ulama, is the scholars. So this shows us that we should not busy ourselves with those things which have no, no benefit, those things which will only involve us in falsehood but rather we should involve ourselves with trying to practice the truth and that is sufficient for us the more we try to practice the truth the more we realize our shortcomings and the more we realize our sins and the more we realize we're in need of tahajjid and we're in need of tawbah and we're in need of istighfar and we're in need of, of doing sadaqah the more we involve ourselves with our own nafs our own selves the more we realize we don't even have time for others meaning to belittle others and to attack the honor of others. And we'll also realize by the more knowledge we attain that there is no benefit. In fact, it may become a harm, a sin. And this is involving ourselves in batil. To carry false news or to, to carry uh, tales or lies and slanders with the purpose of spreading evil. As the Prophet wasallam said, this is one of the reasons people are punished in the grave. We learn this from the hadith where the Prophet wasallam was walking by the two graves. And he saw and he said that they're being punished. He said that those two people, they're being punished in their graves and they're not being punished which for something which the people think is, is, is a big deal. He said, as for one of them, he used to not cleanse himself from when he urinated properly. He didn't cleanse himself properly from when, they, when he urinated. And as for the other, is they used to carry the tales, uh, they used to uh, slander and spread slander uh, throughout the community. So that shows us that those two sins are great and that they are reasons for the punishment of the grave. And that also illustrates for us that they are forms of batil. That when we spread slander and ghiba and namima, backbiting and attacking one another and lying about one another, that these are in fact sinful things and these are a way of spreading falsehood. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from being the people of falsehood and the people who spread falsehood. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.